Hello, Steve Hart, Steve Hart's 89. Well, Madonna has finally started the US leg of her celebration tour. And of course, she showed up three hours late and that's all anyone can talk about. Because, I mean, I'm on the fan side. It's just, this is no excuse for it, but it's not the most important thing about the tour to talk about. But like I said, there's no excuse for it. You know what time the show is supposed to start. You know what time you have to start getting ready. It's just a power play. It's just a matter of, control and making everyone wait for you just you know we, we know psychologically what that means when people make people wait for them it's a thing um it's textbook madonna does it she has for years the older she gets the more insecure insecure she gets the more she needs to make people wait and feel important and it's just a bit sad but um it is the focus of all the news articles and part of me is glad she's getting attention and every you know there are all these articles that the this, the commencement of the US leg of the tour is getting a lot of press because I kind of felt like it has sort of had its press. I didn't sort of realize it was going to be like a big sort of bump for when she swift, switched legs. Um, but yeah, it probably would be more important to talk about the show itself and particularly the, um, the AIDS memorial section in um, Live to Tell. Now, I do have my own issues with that though. As much as I love people celebrating it, I do feel like she's making the song about AIDS and I always felt that, that was a very powerful song and it wasn't specific to any situation or cause or anything and I always liked that it had sort of a universal element to it and now it does seem to be becoming very much about the AIDS crisis and it kind of bothers me because for me it's a suicide song. Um, I know I can't say that on YouTube but I mean they don't share my videos anyway so who cares. Um, I've been cancelled by YouTube years ago. Um, and for me it was when I was when I was younger and coming out and that so um, as much as I I mean I saw actually no I'm not gonna lie I didn't see um, like I um, lived to tell the first night um, live when when I watched the whole concert live stream I missed the first um, section like the first 20 minutes um, and I watched videos afterwards so I didn't watch the whole thing and I tried to watch it because um, I just had to live to tell in my head today and I watched this, um, the celebration version and um, of course that's brilliant and I posted on Instagram after that Taylor Who and shared the video because um, it's amazing and then I tried to watch um, the concert and I was expecting an overwhelming um, lots of pictures of people and the first like four or five are people that um, she knew or we know, like um, Keith Haring and, and so forth, and it was a bit more personal, a bit more intimate than I, I had gotten the picture from, from the images that I'd seen, because I'd seen overall the performance um, from a distance. The first one I did see um, was like someone's camera from Whoop Whoop Away, so you couldn't really see all the screens, and it, it didn't really have any impact, but this one was a bit closer, a bit better, and I don't know, it was getting for me, I'm like, I'm crying, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm not watching this, um, I just, I don't need the mood at the moment, but um, it is a very powerful moment, and when you're looking at Madonna's history with the LGBTQ plus community, and the current state of America, it is quite a um, bold move to do a show that is so in touch with that scene, and creating a space for you know, my people to be able to celebrate and be themselves and people talking about all the costumes and um, how people are dressing and having this space where they are free and comfortable, where they know they're going to be safe at a Madonna concert, whereas other places in America you're just not safe anymore. Um, that is something they should be talking about. And it's very easy for people who are critical of Madonna, like myself, to say, bitch was late, bitch has no excuse, bitch does not respect fans. But then when you look at the other elements, they kind of outweigh that, but she still shouldn't have been on late, you know, she still should have been on time. Uh, there is no excusing it. It's not the most important thing to focus on, but trying to dismiss it by saying, but she's a great artist, so we should wait for hours. No, we shouldn't. She knows what time the fucking start shows, show starts. I can't talk today. But um, I'm also swearing a lot, but who cares? No one, you know, YouTube doesn't share my videos anyway, so no one sees them. So it doesn't matter what I do, which is quite freeing, but um, yeah, a bit sad. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I've been talking for 4 minutes, 45 minutes, um, 45 seconds. I cannot talk today. My mouth is so dry too. I don't know what it is. But um, yes, so she started the leg, got a lot of attention, people focusing on the wrong thing.
But um, there were rumours that she had more cameras. And there are rumours that she's going to do a concert tour, um, concert video, concert film, I can't talk, of the tour. And I like, I was thinking about that, thinking, why doesn't she do this? Taylor Swift did it, it was huge. Beyonce did it, it wasn't as huge. But then I found out Beyonce didn't do a concert film. She did a documentary about the concert film. Like, well, of course no one's going to watch a documentary about the concert film. They want to watch the film. I mean... I, I, I can't believe that move. That was a dumb move. I didn't even realise. I just assumed it was the whole concert like Taylor did. So if Madonna does the same thing, it'll be a disaster. She's never going to repeat um, In Bed of Madonna, True for Dare. True for Dare, In Bed of Madonna, however you want to look at the title. But if she did an actual film of the show, it could do very well. So I'm hoping that she does that. I'm hoping they're doing that. But, you know, we know how long it normally takes to see one of those productions.